everyone, I'm Jessica and welcome to my new channel, Coloring with Critters. Now today I'd like to take a second to introduce myself and my channel and what I would like to do here and then we're going to talk about this new book that I've got today. My channel is called Coloring with Critters because I am a very proud critter parent. I have dogs, cats, pigs, horses, goats, fish, if you name it, I've probably got it or have it. Now, right now, if you hear some noise in my background, I do have a baby pig loose in my living room somewhere. I think she's taking a nap right now. And I have my dogs in the house, and so you may hear a little bit of noise here and there. Also, because this is my first video, I am still struggling with my equipment a lot. The lights and the camera and just all sorts of equipment malfunctions. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time for that. Now, I am an amateur colorist. I have been coloring for about a year now, and I truly have no, what I call natural talent. I think anyone can color. Anyone can learn to color, and anyone can improve their coloring dramatically by watching tutorials and learning from knowledgeable people. But some people, just are amazing just naturally. You know, they have that ability to create photorealism and to figure out where light sources go in this just amazing way that I certainly don't have. So I probably won't be doing any sort of tutorials or color alongs. But what I would like to do is to sit and chat with you guys and do color and chats about my coloring, about my critters and my life, because I love listening to other people do color and chat videos. I'd also like to do flip throughs and reviews of the various different coloring books I have because I have quite a few and products and such especially from the viewpoint of a person who maybe isn't a natural artist and will recognize things that only really seem to affect those of us who are novices. So with that out of the way I want to talk about this brand new book that I got today. This is the new Alice in Wonderland book from Jade Summer, and I'm going to zoom us out just a bit so that you can see it a little better. There we go. Sorry for the glare, guys. I'm still working on that. Now, as you can see, this is a Jade Summer book, which means that it is printed on the Create Space paper, which I know a lot of people don't like. Personally, I'm really not an advanced enough colorist to feel like it hinders me. The things I do are pretty simple and the paper doesn't bother me, but if it does, all of the Jade Summer books are available on Etsy. You can order them and you can print them on your own paper. I haven't done that yet because right now I'm happy with what I've got, but it is something that I may try to do in the future. So the first thing I have to say about this book is that I love this color art, or cover art, I'm sorry, uh, because all of the Jade Summer books just seem to have some amazing person who does their covers, and I don't know who it is, but whoever you are, you're awesome. This stained glass effect that's going on here, this is so cool, and I would never, ever think about that. Now, like all the other Jade Summer books in this line, there are 25 pictures, and there are two copies of each picture which I love because I inevitably mess up the first one. So what we're going to do today is do a quick flip through of these pictures so that you can see what's in here because it is very new. And I've looked through it really briefly one time and I think it is absolutely adorable. So whenever you open the Jade Summer books, you'll see that there's a place here where you can go get your free digital copy. And this is great if you want to print your own pictures on your own paper. So we start off with this really cute picture of Alice and of course she's sort of drawn and similar to the Disney version that we probably saw when we were kids which I have seen that movie a million times and I have also read the original book. Alright guys I am so sorry for that little distraction there. My phone decided to overheat which is an issue that I seem to be having when I try to video. If anybody else has had this issue with a Samsung please let me know. I don't know why it's doing this and I really don't know how to fix it and it's it's a little frustrating. So as I was about to say I have read the Alice Wonderland books 
but it was a long time ago. And so I don't necessarily remember them as well as I would like. So if y'all remember some things that I don't, sorry, I'm trying to get this book straight here, um, then let me know. Okay, so now we have Alice with the Red Queen. And I love this picture of the Mad Hatter. I think he was always my favorite character and he just looks really mischievous and fun in this picture. This one will be fun to color. Very angry looking little white rabbit here. And here we have the Flamingo and the Hedgehogs from the Croquet Game. Now this is a really pretty picture of Alice, I think. It's even got, you know, all these little lines in her hair. I mean, it's not quite grayscaling, but I think that it'll help give it a certain effect that's going to be really pretty. Here she is falling down the uh, hole, vortex, whatever you would call that. <clears throat> Another one just of the Red Queen. Ah, the Cheshire Cat. I love the Cheshire Cat. He's a little creepy looking though, right? Like he, he looks a little bit evil. And here's another one of him by himself. <clears throat> another one of Alice with the little cupcake. Okay, I don't remember this character, guys. I, I seem to vaguely remember a character, but I don't remember what she was called. Was she the one that had the baby pig? Because I remember there was a character with a baby pig. Of course, I would remember that because I love pigs. Here we have the caterpillar in his little ma magic mushroom here. And another one of just the caterpillar all by himself. Ah, here she is painting the roses red. That should be fun to color too. Here's the king of hearts. I think he looks a little goofier in the cartoon, but he looks a lot more noble here. And here she is with the white rabbit again. He doesn't look really thrilled to be held, but he's cute. Another rabbit picture. Now this looks like it'll be a fun picture with all of these little random objects that's go they're going around here. I think, I like things like that. I like little objects. <clears throat> and I think this was called the Dormouse, wasn't it? She lived in the little, um, little teapot, right? Or was it the sugar bowl? Somebody else remembers, I'm sure. Hi guys, I am so sorry about that technical issue there. Again, this overheating thing just keeps happening and I'm going to have to do some research about it as soon as I get done with this video. So we were on this picture here this is the Hatter with Alice, and I really like this picture because I feel like it's a little sinister. And I always felt that even though Alice in Wonderland was fun and whimsical, it was really a little dark to me. Even as an adult, I go back, and I think it's a little creepy in places. And I think this sort of, you know, just, just brings that in and shows you this look on her face where she's a little frightened. You know, and I just think that's one of the more interesting things about this story and why adults still really like it. I do not remember this guy. Is he supposed to be the Jabberwocky? Because I thought he looked different than this. Again, it kind of looks like a griffin, so if you know what he is, let me know. And here we have Alice chasing after the rabbit with these cool little clocks in the background. Another one of her with the little cookies and bottles and such. And then finally we have one of her here asleep in the tree right before she wakes up. This is the last picture in this book. The rest are all duplicates. And I have to say that I really like this book. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I think it's super, super cute. If you like Alice in Wonderland, I definitely think that you will enjoy this book. And I would recommend it. I think it is $5.99 on Amazon right now. They did have a sale for a while where it was $3.99. But I think it's gone back to the regular price. 
And you can also get it on Etsy, as I said. I think it's $3.99 for just the PDF and $5.99 again for the regular printed book. So I would definitely say go out, give this book a try. I love that the pictures are fairly simple. If you're a person that really struggles with small spaces, and I do sometimes, then I think that this will be a book that you can enjoy without having to feel hindered by that or intimidated by it. So guys, this is going to be the end of this video for now just because I really need to find out what's going on with my camera. It's really starting to frustrate me. But I do hope that if you've enjoyed this video at all, even with all the issues, that you will like it and hopefully subscribe because if I had even two subscribers, I, that would be awesome. Just to have a couple of coloring friends out there in YouTube world to chat with and visit with. I would really enjoy that. Feel free to leave any messages in the comments. Tell me about your coloring. Tell me about your pets and your critter kids and such. I would love to hear about all of that. Thank you all, and until the next time, happy coloring.